Hi, I'm Sochi. And I'm Courtney. And welcome to our Sweet Digs. Sorority, Sorority edition. edition. Before you come in, make sure you subscribe below. Cool. Our apartment is located in West Hollywood. We pay $18.95 a month. It's about $9.50 each, and then utilities are about $50, so that's like about $1,000 each. And we think that's really affordable here in Los Angeles, especially considering what other people pay. It's 840 square feet, and it's two bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms. We both went to Cal State Long Beach, and we actually met through our sorority, Delta Gamma. This is our living room. This is where you'll find us most of the time, binge watching like The Office or something. I first saw this apartment listed on Craigslist. We came and we saw it, it was at like 4 p.m. so it was very sunny through these windows and it looks so magical and so beautiful. I furnished the place in about one week. I went to a million stores every single day, trying to find places, texting Sochi pictures. Some of the stuff's even like furniture that I had from the past but it didn't match so I painted it. She's very crafty this one. <laughs> Before we moved in, Sochi like went to Ikea and she saw this perfect couch. I was like, okay, like I'll look on Craigslist first just to see if I see anything similar. And then we end up finding the exact couch that we wanted. It was for about half the price, so it's 600 and she delivered it, so it was so perfect. We do have this really cool balcony that goes across our whole living room. We do go out on it, but not that often just because it's very small. The only struggle we have with it is the fact that our slide door is like impossible to open and close. that time. And then over here we have our dining area and our bar cart. We definitely eat in front of the TV more, but whenever we have people over, this is our favorite part to be because it has our cute bar cart and then it has our Vogue posters. It's the focal point as you're coming in from the doorway and it just it's perfectly captures our whole like design theme. This one on the right I had in my college dorm and so I've just kind of had it with me all these years. So I honestly just found these two other covers on the internet and then they match perfectly so I just framed those as well. Over here is our kitchen. I don't personally cook very often. I typically only make eggs like in the morning or I'll make like dinosaur chicken nuggets in our oven. I tend to do a little bit more cooking only because I try to save money. Some things I can make well is like pasta, steak, and chicken, um, but I'm trying to learn new dishes so that I have more of a variety. For decorating our kitchen, I wanted to add some color to this very white kitchen. So right here, I added this fabric that I glued around a piece of cardboard and it just adds a little tiny pop of color. So this is our tiny bathroom. We tried to do what we could with the small space that we had. Uh, we tend not to use this one as much. I would say we definitely use that one more just because this one's so combined. This is our big bathroom, the one with the shower that we share. We don't really have a set schedule for sharing it, but we will always just check in, like be like, do you need the bathroom? Like, do you need the shower? Just to like see with each other, but we usually, it just works out. On these tiles, they're white with like brown and blue circles on them, but I covered them with white washi tape just to make it more white and pink and match with our overall theme. And this is my bedroom. It's very colorful. I found this painting actually in a dumpster. Me and my mom happened to drive by the dumpster. We were like, oh my gosh, there's no way someone meant to throw that away. It's way too pretty. So like a few days later, we drove by it again. We were like, nope, it's thrown away for sure. So I'm taking it. And I have no idea who Bert is. I literally found this in a trash can. I have a twin sister named Lindsay. After we both graduated from college, we went on this trip throughout the country and one of our stops was in Austin, Texas. There's this like street artist who was writing poems. We decided to ask him to write about twins and he wrote it and then we both have a framed copy of it in our rooms and it's just really special. I'm in fashion, I'm a stylist. I used to work for celebrities but now I'm sort of transitioning into something new. I would describe my home style as very colorful, but it's also very influenced by my love for fashion. And I also used to be a ballerina, and I have a lot of pieces, especially around my room, that have that ballet influence. This is my bedroom, very white and simple. My room is definitely more neutral. White is my favorite color, and it has a pops of pink and gold and silver. Definitely like to make it look as clean as possible. My room has been like an ongoing process. I still haven't finished decorating it completely. When I'm out and I see something that matches the decor, then I'll bring it home. There's still a lot of things that I feel like I'm missing. 
so it's definitely not done yet. The most sentimental thing I have in my room is this picture frame circle I have right above my desk. I'm just a very organized person in general, so I feel like my desk always has to be perfect. It kind of serves as my workspace, kind of a little bit of storage and my studio whenever I have time to sit down and record something. I work in public relations, so I work right now at an agency. And my next dream apartment really would just be somewhere that allows dogs because right now we can't have pets here and I miss my dog. I would say our home style is a perfect combination of the two of us. Mine's very colorful and sort of vintagey, and then hers is very simple and neutral so I think out here in like the shared spaces it's very much an even combination of both those. The worst part about our apartment would have to be the fact that we share a parking spot. Street parking is okay here but it's really annoying that we have to text each other every day like after work and stuff. Are you home yet? Are you coming home late? And then we have to like figure out who gets the spot. We complement each other as roommates, I think. Our relationship is a very perfect roommate relationship. We get along super easy. We're very good at communicating, but we also have like our own lives. We just, we're such perfect roommates. Like we have no problem with each other at all. Thank you so much for watching our sweet digs. To watch more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.